Despite economic challenges, the pandemic has brought a global shortage of truck drivers. But as Usher Qureshi shows us, some employers are willing to pay big bucks to those willing to strap in for the long haul. It's a job that could pay half a million a year. A shortage of truck drivers has increasingly been a problem for decades. But with the pandemic causing manufacturing hubs to shut down, cargo and freight demand was affected as well. When we shuttered manufacturing and we, we shut down all the imports and exports and um, everything came to a screeching halt, everyone traded in their trucks. Jim Grundy is the CEO of CISO Energy, a Texas-based bulk commodity carrier that provides transportation services for companies like Amazon and J.B. Hunt. You've seen uh, anywhere from 40 to 50 percent of the entire direct driver pool will leave the industry just in the last 12 months. Uh, it's been substantially damaging uh, to various companies and you're seeing rates correspond, which then get handed off to the end user. The pandemic also has been a major speed bump in the training, testing and licensing of commercial truck drivers. There's no one coming through these trucking programs or schools right now. There's, there's so much analytics surrounding as to why, but the biggest issue is the juice isn't worth the squeeze uh, for the younger generation of folks. But wages have been the biggest obstacle. A recent centerline study shows 75% of truck drivers said competitive pay is the top factor to take a job. Half said existing wages are not competitive enough. But late last year, wages started drastically changing as requests from companies to move freight spiked. Folks at our company are making upwards of $12,000, $13,000 a week gross revenue. And that's really an anomaly compared to what's happening in the, in the uh, around the globe. Grundy says he hopes the lure of potentially making up to a half million dollars a year will bring drivers back to keep the industry rolling forward. I'm Usher Qureshi reporting.